why it's late spring evenings like this one when little shady areas in your garden really start coming into their own this is down in an area we call the Dell which is an area of what was quite dappled shade for a number of years with some very large and old established silver birch trees last of which you can just see to the right of the screen there the five that were in the main area of this bit of dell actually felled themselves in one gale about six to seven years ago just got the last stamp of one of them which went right over at 90 degrees pulling most of the earth up around it but it's now settled right back in and is sitting almost completely concealed in this dense canopy of cow parsley that's just lifting this light in this little area you can see the tree in the foreground hasn't yet broken leaf that's a mulberry white mulberry very late to come out behind it we've got the magnolia yellow magnolia let's go and have a little look at that there we are this tree is growing really nicely loves the moist conditions and the protected environment it's got with the surrounding old oaks and that silver birch between it and the winds coming across the paddocks but it's really not flowering particularly well this year nowhere near as spectacular as it was last season when we filmed this for you a lot of damage to those blossoms and they're much smaller than was the case last year and the leaf growth really been knocked back by those late frosts on the floor we've got the wildflowers starting to come out there's that cow parsley in abundance some campion just starting bluebells scattered across the floor of this the primroses have just finished and a little area at the base of just in front of the pond of the wild garlic these wild garlic plants grow really well here not to everybody's taste the smell of them can get a little strong it's very garlicky around here certainly overpowering anything we're getting from the blue bluebells that are in there with them but it's a lovely light flowering that they give at this time in May really nice and they're offsetting the pond which with the water we've been having in Norfolk this year is absolutely chock-a-block full and got a little azalea just struggling under here far too shady for it really now be far better if I was able to prune some of these overlying trees back for it but it's managing to cope and still flowering and certainly on the banks of this natural pond in this very low lying area of the garden it doesn't need any water but just look surface water here this year still sitting on the surface with creeping jenny just running through it very marshy this year it's one of the wettest we've had here and certainly not normal what we'd expect here in may